so I'm going to be teaching you how to overclock a laptop graphics card, and this also works for a normal graphics card. One of the best things you're going to be using this for is to achieve a higher frame rate in Battlefield 4. So first you're going to come to Google and type in MSI Afterburner, but I'll include the links down in the description. You're going to hit the big download button right there, and then it'll pop up and then run through the normal installation procedures. I've already done this, so um, it's already installed, but you would run uh, the bottom one, the afterburner setup. Then you're going to come and uh, open the application. It's right here. It's probably going to give you a warning if you don't have the permissions set on uh, the right setting. Okay. So here it is, you can see we have a bunch of different controls. We have a core clock and memory clock available to us. You can unlock the uh, core voltage and power things, but I would not recommend that unless you're working with a desktop with supreme cooling, because that can really uh, mess you up. So I usually start off, um, you want to try and find stable temperatures, so I usually bump the core clock about, about 100, uh, 100 on the scale and the memory clock about 100 or so. Um, you can go a bit higher than this, but uh, this is probably going to give you about an average of, I'd say, maybe overall four frames per second more. Um, you can play with it and get it just to where you need it, and then that will achieve the best frame rate. You want to you wanna do a burn-in test, so that means you're going to want to run it for a long period of time and see if the temperatures exceed uh, certain limits. But that's really all to overclocking your graphics card. Um, I'll include all the links down in the description.